In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for each atom in PO2, 3 minus, the hypophosphite ion. So we use these rules here to guide our work. And as we look down the rules, we don't see phosphorus, but we do see oxygen. And oxygen has an oxidation number of minus two, with a few exceptions. So each of these two oxygens has an oxidation number of minus two. We can also see that in an ion, all the oxidation numbers add up to the charge on the ion. That's this three minus here. So we could say phosphorus, which we don't know, plus two times minus two, that's minus four, should equal this three minus here. So if we had a positive one here and the minus four, that would give us the minus three. So the oxidation number on the phosphorus is plus one. All of these numbers here on the oxygen and the phosphorus will add up to this three minus here, the charge on the ion. So to recap, we found the oxidation numbers for the elements we knew, the oxygens. And then we use this rule that in an ion, all the oxidation numbers add up to the charge on the ion, and we use that to find the phosphorus. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for PO2 3 minus, and thanks for watching.